Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 ways to know your computer is being hacked. It used to take some expertise to hack computers, but now anyone can do it and it's estimated that 60% of computers are hacked in some way without the person even knowing it. I hope you're not being hacked, but watching this video and checking these signs will let you know whether you're safe or whether you're hacked. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my new second channel, The Crafty. There's some amazing stuff on there, and if you comment on The Crafty's latest video saying you subscribed, you'll get shouted out in the next Top 10s video. So do that, and why not subscribe to Top 10s too? Coming in at number 10 is Webcam. This isn't only one of the easiest signs to show you're being hacked, but it's one of the creepiest. Check your webcam and it should have no light unless you're using it. But if you see a green light or something to indicate your webcam is on, then this could mean you're getting hacked. When you use your webcam, your webcam light probably stays on, but if you're getting hacked, it will flicker. This is because the hacker is establishing connections and then can disable the light from showing up for too long while hacking you. This is seriously creepy as it means the hacker can see everything you're doing. A way to test if you're hacked when your webcam blinks on and off is to turn off your computer. Then turn it back on and if it's still acting up after 20 minutes, then you're likely being hacked by a creep, so watch out. Next up is Printer. If your computer was getting hacked, you'd probably think this means your computer is where the problems would be. But if you connect your computer to your printer, this can sometimes also mean your printer won't work. That is because when you're being hacked, a new connection from your computer to the hacker is made. But sometimes, this can mess up other connections your computer has, like to a printer or even a USB. If your printer gives you an error with the word interrupted in it, then this means something or someone is blocking the connection. And it also means you need to work on your cybersecurity, as you're likely being hacked. Next up is Toolbar. This is something so many people overlook. Open your internet browser and look at your toolbar. You should see the regular things like your bookmarks, apps, and maybe a few settings options. But if you check your toolbar and see a bunch of extra icons you didn't add, then this is often a sign some dangerous hacking is at work. Some hacks will add icons to malicious websites which download more viruses onto your browser. Then when you enter your Facebook password or even bank info, the hackers can see it. If you want to test this out, try deleting any newly added icons off your toolbar. If they stay gone and you never see them again, you're good. But if after a few days they reappear, then you're being hacked, and you need to fix this ASAP, as millions of dollars are stolen from bank accounts every year with this hack. Even if you're a college student eating ramen noodles with two bucks in your account, you should still do something about this scary hack. Next up is friends. In the modern world, it seems like the more followers, the better. But this is sometimes far from the truth. If one of your accounts, like your Facebook account, suddenly gained a ton of friends or follow requests, then this could be a problem. This is normally a sign that somebody's hijacked your account and is sending out friend requests and spam links to viruses to other people. If this happens to you, change your password right now, as you could get in trouble for sending spam if somebody thinks it's really you and reports your account to Facebook or the cops. Not only that, it could mean your family and friends now have a virus as they've been sent links to viruses. And it also means that if a hacker knows your Facebook password, then they likely know other passwords of yours, so be sure to change others too. Next up is Forwarded. This is a very tricky hack, and it's the most common one amongst all computers. Have you ever tried typing something into Google and been directed to another internet search? Or perhaps clicked a button on a website only to be forwarded somewhere totally different? Well, if this is the case, then you're being hacked. This is what's known as a browser hijack. This will make all your Google searches go to another search website, making them a ton of money. Also, when you're getting a load of pop-up ads when you're not even on a dodgy website, then this could be another sign you're being hacked. This is less dangerous than other hacks as it's merely websites trying to make money, but you should still get some antivirus software to get rid of it. Next up is fake antivirus. Talking of getting antivirus, when choosing an antivirus, you must be careful you pick a real one. That's right, there's loads of fake ones out there which automatically install themselves on your computer. They will then pop up and ask you to do a virus scan. It will then ask for your computer admin password, which is where things go wrong. Very, very wrong. Instead of checking for and removing viruses, it actually installs them. This is of course very bad, as it makes you think it's gonna help you, when really all it does is hack you. Always be sure to be wary of any antivirus alert just in case. A good way to spot them is if you don't remember installing an antivirus of that name or if it doesn't look like your regular antivirus. Next up is antivirus off. So we know hackers can install fake antiviruses onto your computer, but did you know they can also turn off your real antivirus? If you check your antivirus settings and your antivirus is turned off, then this is a clear sign you've been hacked. One of the first things hackers do before hacking you is turning this off. This allows them to access your files way easier, and it also removes any firewalls or other software you have set up. This also allows them to hack your accounts from social media to bank accounts. 
So be sure your antivirus is always turned on, and if it's not and you didn't do it, then investigate further with these other signs. Next up is files. One reason many hackers hack people is to get their files. They usually gain access to your computer's hard drive, which holds all your files. If you have a load of files recently deleted or added, then this is likely a hack. The only way to get around deleted files is to keep a backup in case you ever get hacked, and the workaround for added files is to never open them, as they're likely just more viruses. Not only that, be sure to delete them as well, otherwise they could still harm your computer. Any files ending in .exe are the file type that viruses usually use, so definitely avoid these. But don't be fooled, hackers can even disguise things like text documents or images as viruses, so be careful. Coming up next is Cursor. One thing many people don't realize is that some hackers do something called mirroring. What this does is shows your screen to them. They can then use their own keyboard or mouse on your computer just like you were doing it. So if you see your cursor moving around screen by itself, then this is a hacker hacking you. This is risky, as they can do pretty much anything they want on your computer. The best way to stop this is to turn off your computer so they can't use their mouse or keyboard to control it. Then get it fixed by a professional or yourself if you're up to the challenge. This can be a very dangerous hack though, so watch out. Coming up next is slow. This one is super obvious, but many people overlook it. If your computer's being slow, you might just assume it's getting old. But this isn't always the case. Sometimes hacked computers go far slower. This is because it not only has to process the information you're giving it, but it also has to send it to the hacker as well. Thanks to this, your computer's processor gets overwhelmed, as it's doing all these things at once, which can really slow you down. The best bet is to make sure your computer is always updated to get around this. And use the other 9 tips on this video to test if you're being hacked or not. Be sure to subscribe to The Crafty for more amazing tips. On screen right now is a few amazing subscribers to The Crafty, so head over there and comment on the latest Crafty video saying you subscribe. Then in the next top 10s video you'll get a shout out just like the ones on screen right now. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to top 10s.